Now we're ready to go ahead and add some links with Linkit. We'll start out by linking to external paths. Come over to our create article page and refresh. And if you want to link to an external page, you can simply type or paste the URL into the target path. And in the attribute section, you can see that we have a title here. You can fill that out if you'd like. And click insert link. If you switch to the plain text editor, you can see how it was filled out with the AHF, including the title and the link. If you want to link to an internal path, you can click the link it button. And in the search content box, enter a few characters to search. Since I have this set to one, it searches right away, but if you left at the default of three, it wouldn't search until you'd entered three characters. And as you can see, our results are sorted by article, and then basic page, and then user. So let's go ahead and just link to one of these articles. When I select it, you'll see that the target path is filled in. And again, we have the attributes option. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this blank for now. I'll go ahead and just click insert link. And once it is inserted, you'll see that Linkit automatically uses the title of the content for the link text. And if we had filled out the title, when we hover over it, the title text would show up in the pop-up. So you can see that happen here with modelsunravel.com. If we switch to the plain text editor, we can see that it is using a relative URL to this content. If I were to go ahead and click preview, we can see that pathologic has converted the relative path to the full URL, which means that this link will work wherever it's displayed. You can also add a link to existing text. So for example, if I were to type view my profile and then highlight the word profile and click the link a button, I could do a search for Brian and select my user and then go ahead and click insert link. And now when we preview the article, we'll see that the word profile is linking to my user profile. So Linkit knows to use the highlighted word for the link text if a word is highlighted or add the content title when nothing is selected. And finally, we can link to files using the IMCE browser. So if I type fill out our form, highlight the word form, and click the link it button, I can click open file browser and find a file like this test.txt file, insert the file, and you can see it adds the URL to the file, click insert link, and now when I save or preview, you can see that the file itself is linked to. So Linkit is a pretty handy module for creating links on your site.